Well, looks like my powers are advancing. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I thought I can't just have it as showing me and you and then just showing the beams. I thought I've got to show different angles and stuff as well. This needs to be epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had to do was ask and I would have sent you the link to Daleks in Manhattan you wouldn't have seen that name oh, oh god I killed you <laughs> I am um, I like watching this scene because at first when I say um all I had all you had to do was ask and though it's mid-sentence, I noticed you chuckling, and I was thinking, I wonder what joke he thought this was going to be before I finished the sentence. <laughs> I, I I assumed it was like, all you had to do was ask, you didn't have to shoot me or something like that. Is that possibly <laughs> what it was? <laughs> well, well, it's just like, uh, like, I, it's just, oh God, I ended up killing someone because, you know, I didn't watch their link or something like <laughs> it all stemmed from confusions <laughs> if it's any consolation fresh does it in self-defense and i it's my beam that finishes me off <laughs> so if that makes you feel any better <laughs> <laughs> all right Yet another example of um, uh, uh, where I've had to send in two variations of the same clip. Like one, like uh, this scene in particular, it was another misleading clip where it was either Fresh Powder's back or Fresh Powder's dead. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, because I sent Daniel two requests because I didn't... <laughs> I thought it would be too much of a spoiler if I gave you just that one. But that scene will appear in the extra scenes and bloopers video as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> Snake Staff Magic has been defeated! All Daleks, retreat! Retreat! Yeah, some loyal minions, they just leave you there. <laughs> well, I thought... They've lost their leader, they'd be a bit confused and shaken after that, so mm. if Fresh Powder can destroy their leader, they'd get a bit, you know, shocked. Yeah. I, I like your reaction, though, in the video where you say, that's it, run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just stopping here pretty quickly, like I said earlier, this final scene that I did was actually the very first clip that I worked on for this chapter. And yeah, um, as you can see, yet again, Fors got drawn on lightning because both him and Fresh are in the same frame. And like I've mentioned in the previous behind the scenes, you know, Fresh is a confusing mix of greens and blues and so to have both him and four on screen, it causes a bit of confusion, so... And I do admit, this is probably one of the weaker looking stills of four that I produced. Well, I think it's excusable. I mean, it's pretty commendable for you to have him animated in most of the video, so it's, it's also... It felt so good finally putting this clip you put in there at last because obviously it was the first thing I got you to do, so I was like, we finally got to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
We did it. We actually did it. We defeated Snake Staff Magic! Superman are victorious! Superman are victorious! Victory! Yeah, as you can see, there's four animators in the next shot that you see him. <laughs> so, yeah. It's good! And also, honestly, I guess I should mention this is the massive clip I said don't include Falcon in. Mm -hmm. So, which. <laughs> which I complied with. have to come to this. I never wanted this to happen. I'm sorry. So yes, me feeling bad about, well, killing you. <laughs> uh, I thought, Eric, because when I asked you to do these, I, I thought, honestly, Fresh Powder is going to be the hero of the thing, and if, we're, if I was going to go for dramatic, I didn't picture Fresh as being the <laughs> I beat Fresh sort of character, so, yeah. I mean, did you, would you picture him as having been like this before what happened happened? Um, yeah. well, uh, sometimes when, I guess Fresh's emotions, when he feels something, it sort of, it's sort of boosted, like, uh, when he needs to feel sad, he can be in tears. When he, uh, when he feels angry, he's furious. So, I guess that's something. So yeah, because honestly, you had to do this clip without knowing I was dead on the ground, mm -hmm. and I edited that into the clip. So I, it was interesting to think, from your perspective, what he might have been seeing when he said that. I'm sorry. In, in all honesty, I thought it was going to be Falcon. Like, I was honestly expecting to see a cooked chicken on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit grim, but that's honestly what I was thinking. <laughs> well, a promise is a promise. You're free to go. And Lefty breaks the fourth wall by looking up at the speech bubble. Oh, I hadn't caught on to that. <laughs> yeah, that's why he licked up. Because I, th I thought with Lefty just looking looking onwards towards the Cybermen, I thought that was a bit boring. And so I thought, hmm, I hope I don't, I hope I don't have any spelling mistakes up there. So. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I thought when making that scene. Just remember to keep in touch in case we are in need of your assistance again. So, where did I send the Cybermen to? That will be answered come Chapter 7. Ah. So, yeah. <laughs> In all honesty, it kind of looks like they're passing into the afterlife, because I kind of said, you're free to go. But let's just keep things secretive for now. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Mm -hmm. And thanks to you guys as well. Every little helps. Now to send you all home. Great job, guys. We did it. Uh, yeah, this this little segment um, I actually produced after the uh, introduction scene with Fresh and the cameos because uh, they weren't there uh, in the finale itself until I decided to include them, and so you basically have just requested that scene of Fresh dismissing the cameos to acknowledge that they're still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it fits in well, I think, as well. Just... Yeah. And that audio clip of Spongebob saying, Great job, guys. We did it. That's from the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, once they believe they've taken down Burger Beard. And so, yeah. Yet again, <laughs> I'm resourceful. <laughs> well, um... Out of curiosity, what music, what is the background sad music from? Um, ah, good question, because, um, it's the ending music to Rise of the Planet of the Apes, titled Caesar is Home. It is, oh. it is, it is the 
in my mind, it's the greatest ending music to any movie ever. And um, <coughs> I may have used that in the podcast on a number of times to end it off. <coughs> uh, I've seen, uh, I guess this is from the recent trilogy, isn't it? Or is it a yeah. quadrology? Yeah, I've only seen the first one. I still need to see the other two. But when I hear that music, unless I've... It is from the first one, in which case, dirt moment. But I'm going to be listening up for that now. All right.